What's up you guys? It's Jay and today I'm filming in a whole different part that you guys haven't seen yet in my art studio, my office and yeah so you get to see a little different part of my home today. It's been a while, it's been a minute since I posted a video. Also if you hear any noise or sound on the side. Um, I am trying to multitask, so I'm also working at the same time. Um, so you're gonna hear my printer probably throughout the entire video. So today, I wanted to squeeze in this video because I definitely did shop a little bit. Um, and also, I'm going to be using things that I already have. Um, and it's basically for my spring decor. I'm so excited. A lot of these pieces I've definitely had throughout the years. Other things are relatively new-ish. Um, like, I did purchase a lot of these things in the winter time because I already had an idea of what I wanted and I knew that around this time it was gonna be crazy busy. The theme that I'm actually going for the spring is going to be very eclectic. I'm also gonna try my very best to link as much of the items down below and if I don't um, I will try very hard to find things that are similar to that because there was one specific item that I can't find anywhere. First Let's start off with my favorite thing, of course, throw pillows. So I absolutely fell in love with this print when I saw it, and it is like a polka dot print. And I also love how it's not symmetrical. So all of the polka dots definitely have a different shape to it. On camera, it is pulling more on the ivory side. In person, it definitely is a little bit more beige. I actually got four of these. And then to complement this, I, of course, I'm also a fan of Amazon's pom-pom pillows. So I love how soft and velvety they feel. So this is the pillow that I went for. I got four of these as well. And I just think that they're gonna look so cute together. Since I'm going for like an eclectic spring pretty vibe, I wanted to just decorate it with random things. So I love this gold pineapple. This is actually for your drinks. So I purchased this at Home Goods and it was on sale on clearance for $7. I got this years ago. I never took the sticker off. So I think I have two of these and a silver one. And basically you go like this and then you put the cup on top. I have never used this as a drink because I honestly think they look prettier as decorations on your bar cart or even throughout your home. So I also have like a special love for pineapples because on our honeymoon, my husband and I actually went to Hawaii. So whenever I see pineapples, it kind of reminds me of that beautiful time that we spent in Hawaii. So there's that kind of to go with like that tropical vibe. Um, I have these and I've had these for such a long time. Like. I want to say six years so target has them and they're kind of like little urchins and they sell them in a set of three so i think i want to put these on my coffee table i think they're gonna look really really cute also seen like hobby lobby have something similar to this where it's like a sculpture speaking about hobby lobby you can find some pretty awesome vases. So one of my favorite kinds of vases are like these blue china inspired vases. To be honest, they kind of remind me of like a urn. And I love the ones that have the pretty little lids or whatever. And this one was $30. They were 50% off. Whenever I buy any glassware from Hobby Lobby, I make sure to shop around the 50% off sales. So I got this and then I went back another time and I got this vase and this one was $39.99 on sale for $20. And then I just put some pretty hot pink flowers. And actually I think this is how I'm going to style either my coffee table or my dining room table. I just think that this is so, so pretty. I also have a blue chicken. If I could find, you know what? I'm gonna go get that blue chicken. I'm gonna show you guys that. This blue chicken is also from Hobby Lobby. I've had it for a few years. I never take the prices off of stuff because I do have friends that come over and they're like, oh, where'd you get that? And I could be like, oh, I got this at Hobby Lobby and it was only this price. So 
this was $15 again 50% off so I paid way less than $10 I think $7.50 which is great for that I also got this at Hobby Lobby also several years ago and this was $34.99 again 50% off of that and it's basically like a little geometric diamond so to speak and it's filled with faux succulents so something like this would also be very cute perched on top of like a stack of books happy lobby it's a little rare to find this as well as home goods but i feel like it's sometimes a little bit easier to find this at home goods than it is at hobby lobby and i'm talking about these agate coasters i've showed these before i think i have i think i've showed these before and these are probably my absolute favorite style of coasters beautiful blue agate coasters this i did take the price off because they are a little bit transparent um and obviously i don't want the label to show through and they have like this beautiful gold rim around it back on the blue china thing i wonder what is it that makes blue china authentic so my uncle years ago he bought me this beautiful vintage like set and it was a set of smaller dishes like this larger plates teacup i have all of that stuff but my favorite parts of that collection have to be um these beautiful little dishes they are so delicate i actually use these throughout the year so i take out these plates and then i put a pretty candle and i just set it on top and i just think it's so beautiful because you see that gorgeous like rim of the design and then like a white candle and it just really really pops and i think that they are going to be perfect for this spring season so something else that i've had for a while i don't know if i've showed you guys this on this channel they are these blue decorative balls and i got these at home goods also years ago i've actually seen similar ones at pier one but pier one sells them individually and I think Hobby Lobby also sells them individually they are very heavy and they came in a set of six and what I loved about this set is that each ball is different they have a different design so this is how I store them when I'm not using them I use I put them in this clear container and then I made this like foam divider thing or whatever i definitely think that this is probably my favorite decor item and this was kind of like the inspiration of it all and it's this beautiful grecian bust i love her so much i actually bought her i want to say in december and i actually got her at lambs plus and it was on clearance i think it was like 39 dollars. i haven't been able to find her again however i have seen similar ones um, they can be a little bit pricey so I will be trying my very best to link down below ones that I found I know Wayfair has a few urban has ones that are like planters or pots or something that you can actually plant greenery in the head of the bus which I think that's really cute too it's kind of like a modern chia pet or a cute chia pet years ago hobby lobby used to sell grecian bus so definitely always check around springtime because sometimes they do release some fun like glass items but i will be showing you a bus that i purchased in the past that i have shown on this channel before definitely like a home tour because this guy is always out and this is the fun bust that I bought years ago at Hobby Lobby. I haven't seen him again. Honestly, sometimes with these specialty items, it's like a hit or miss. And this guy was actually on clearance for $13.59. So originally this guy was $50. He sits out all year long in my dining room. I do move him from location to location. So sometimes he'll be on my buffet table and other times he'll be on my bar cart. But he is so cute and he's also a really cute alternative to a Grecian bust as you can see. So if you can't find like a Grecian bust, this is actually an awesome alternative. I got this years ago at, I want to say either Target or Home Goods. This actually looks like a horse like chest piece. I think we're down to the last piece and the last item is actually this beautiful beautiful vintage sign. I got this 
I want to say in September so originally this was $40 and I actually got this on sale for I think it was like 10 bucks which was such a steal I purchased this at Michael's definitely check at the end of season so I know like the end of spring Hobby Lobby has a massive clearance section I think it was so cute because it really does match my Grecian bust. if you can see they both have like little pops of black throughout them which I think it's really cute I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also kind of got like an essence of what it is that I'm going for this spring make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and make sure to turn on your notifications that way you know every single time we post a new video I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one bye